Hey family, it is Tara Chantel. We are outside with it, getting that vitamin Z, getting that sun glaze. Ooh, that sun just hitting this melanin on the skin today. I pray that you are feeling well, feeling blessed, and not getting distracted out here. Let's talk about the BET Awards. Let's recap and really dissect this on a spiritual level. This ain't going to be opinionated. This is only going to be facts. Facts. I'm laying down the facts. I did not take the time or the energy to watch the BET Awards. I am heavily on Twitter, so you know you can follow me there. So I seen the clips, the highlights of what was being advertised in BET. Let's start by saying BET is not ran by nobody who is my color. And it shows the agenda that they are pushing on television that tells lies to the vision. And at this point, we should boycott. We should boycott BET because it's not to stimulate your mind to increase your spirituality, to increase your knowledge of self and your knowledge of God and your knowledge of who you are and what you were created to do here. It is just a distraction. And the BET Awards truly showed that, that we are in spiritual warfare out here. Back in the day, we had talent, we had history, we had legends. In this era, you will get applauded, you will get rewarded for foolish behavior. In this era that we're living in, you will get rewarded for foolish behavior. When I was just seeing this on a spiritual level, noticing the pattern on a spiritual level, it was a whole bunch of clowns on stage. It was just like a whole bunch of clowns on stage thinking these people that they put on a pedestal is entertaining. It's truly to keep you dumbed down, to keep your vibration on a low level. Because all I was seeing, all I was seeing from these highlights is a whole bunch of twerking. I was seeing a whole bunch of mumbling rapping. And I was seeing like porn on stage. And how is this going to help our future? How is this going to increase the knowledge of our youth? And this is the agenda that they are pushing. They are after our youth and they are after our future. So we must have the knowledge to realize what is going on here. This is not a game. If they are doing this on this level right now, what else do they got up their sleeve? Because back in the day, we couldn't see all this PDA. We couldn't see all this pornography. We couldn't see all this prostitution that they are promoting. And we thinking this is all cute. It's because we are living in reverse. And we got people. We got people so sensitive that is just in fear of speaking their truth. They don't want to speak truth to power. They just letting this BS, this foolishness slide. Knowing that they are after the minds of the innocent young youth. The youth do not know the difference subconsciously what is being planted on them. So we must protect our energy. We must turn off the television. We must turn off the noise of this low level that's going to keep us from not tapping into our highest and our truest self seeing all of these highlights how we are glamorizing twerking do we have anything better to do than shaking our booty is there talent anymore it's no talent whatsoever because all of these celebrities are just pawns for white supremacy they are pawns to keep us from being our truest and our highest self these celebrities that you are sticking up for ain't your friend 
They just want your money. They just want your mind. They just want your energy. And this shows the distraction that they planted on us. And it's all a distraction. All of this that they are putting out here, the agenda that they are pushing, everything that they are doing is not for your greater good. It is to keep you from getting wealthy, from getting rich within, because you already know. It's like 1% of people that are truly wealthy and the rest of us is just out here, just in this rat race, going along just to get along and not getting out of the matrix, not realizing the bigger picture of the spiritual warfare that we are under right now dissecting this back and forth seeing that they call in mumble rap rap they get anybody on a stage this platform so they can take our minds so they can take our energy these are energy vampires that was on this stage on the BT awards it is no talent no mo it is no talent so knowing that being conscious and aware of what is going on. We thinking that relationship goals is someone who got six baby mamas, six kids, and then adding another kid in the mix is a good idea. This is relationship goals in this era. Then we got artists, all they doing is promoting their vagina all they doing is promoting a booty and thinking this is called music this is not cute the way the era is going we have gender wars going around because women after men's money and we got men after women's body praying on them not praying praying on them it's like who can hurt who first hurt people hurt people and if we're not trying to heal each other, what are we doing? This is a distraction. The BET Awards is a distraction. And the fact, the fact they had Kurt Franklin performing gospel. And then at the end, going to have Lil Nas on stage with the mediocrity of the foolishness talking about this a tribute to Michael Jackson the contradiction the contradiction that they are doing in the minds of the young people who are innocent that doesn't know better who thinking this is entertainment but this is really vampires sucking your energy away sucking your spirituality away sucking you dry this is spiritual warfare. And unfortunately, we live in a very sensitive era. So you got to tell people, you know, I'm not against you. But let's be real about the agenda that they are pushing with little Nas. He don't even know better because they get you while you're young. They get you when you don't have parents. They get you when you have no guidance, you have no knowledge of self and they plant this seed in you they whisper in your ear telling you all the material gains you can get in this world so now as people are operating from flesh and all they care about is how much things they can get and how much money they can get because when you are young all you're going to care about is materialism what can I get out of this and knowing they got little Nas. So he got his mommy and daddy is these labels, is people who is really wrapped up in him. He is not making his own decisions. He is not in control of his art. They own him. So he is just doing what they are saying. He does not have a mind of his own. He is not a creative genius. He's not a true artist. He's not a legend. So knowing that he put himself in this predicament because he didn't have his mommy and daddy in his ear to tell him this is a bad idea son his mama on the street his daddy probably just wants him to just get the money because he never had the money so do what you got to do son but knowing that little Nas does not care about your kids 
He says it all the time on Twitter. He said, your kids shouldn't even be watching BET. At the end of the day, BET should be a friendly program. Anything on TV should be a family program. And you hear that program. That's all television is, is programming your mind for the foolishness and thinking this is okay. We got people thinking this behavior of foolishness is okay. Because this is the program of the subconscious mind have done to them. So knowing that this is a pawn, knowing that this is a clown making a mockery out of our race, making a mockery out of us, you're not for the culture, you're for self. We cannot be and associate ourselves when you are not with us us you are for yourself so all you care about is the material gains that you can get none of these artists that was on this stage is legends they're not creative they're not talented all they care about is the money and the agenda that they are pushing for the matrix to keep you at a low frequency that is their agenda when you have no soul when you have no spiritual connection with the source all you care about is money and how much more money you can get. So now we are operating from the ego. As you can see, everybody on stage operating from the ego. What can I get out of this? What can I push from this? What can I advertise? And what can I show to the world that I'm important? These rappers have to show you that they're important, that they're important by how much stuff they can get. No wonder why Cardi B got to show you that she got so many Birkin bags over and over again to show you that she means something, show you her importance. But let me tell you, that, sh that is a calling for help, how empty a spirit can be when they have to keep showing you how many bags they have to have. They all look the same. Why do you need so many? It's to show you that they are empty inside. So they are covering up with a whole bunch of things. Understand what's really important. It's your energy, it's your mind, and it's your connection with the source, with the universe, with God. None of this stuff that we are chasing that we can't take with us matters in the end. We should stop putting others on a pedestal, understand that you the star. These people are a distraction to keep you from your truest and your highest self. They're not your friends, so stop sticking up for them like they're your friends. They don't even know you. They don't care about you. All they care about is how they can get over on you, how they can take your energy, your mind. And this is when they are a vampire. They want to suck the life out of you. So don't invest your time, don't invest your money, don't invest your energy on this behavior. It is foolishness. It is foolishness. And the fact that Little Nas tweeted that your kids shouldn't even be watching BET, it's not his fault. That should show you why are you supporting artists that don't even care about you, man. This is the agenda that they are pushing. When you have no ownership, no creative freedom. You don't even have freedom over your soul. You're just going to do what they say. And they get the minds of the young artists because they know they don't have no guidance. They know they can take advantage of them. And they know all they got to do is wave some money and they're going to jump. All they're going to do is say, how high, master? They don't even own their masters. So knowing this vocabulary, when you have no ownership over your own art, who are you doing this for? The money ain't worth it. The money ain't worth it. It's just an illusion. It's just an illusion. So the fact that you're willing to risk it all, showing your character, you're not going to go out here thinking you a legend. Like when it's all said and done, when your five minutes of fame is going to get wrapped up. Nobody's going to remember you. All they're going to remember is how you destroyed the culture. How you truly set yourself up to fail. And you tried to set us up to fail. But we were smarter than that. And we read through you. 
We got to see right through the BS. I see right through the BS. I see who is on stage and this is it's just a whole bunch of clownery. A whole bunch of clownery. I'm like, how are we cheering this on? How are we thinking this cute? This ain't cute. And I said what I said. I said what I said. No disrespect because this is all coming from love. But let's really realize that we are in spiritual warfare. Get outside. Connect with God and put God first despite all of the chaos. Because it's only going to get worse. If they just doing this on BET and they supposed to be for the culture, knowing that BET is not even ran by blacks no more, by us no more, should tell you right there what they really trying to do. They trying to keep black women and black men on this low frequency, keep us against each other. But let's bring it together. Let's bring unity back intact. I love y'all so much. It's Tara Chantel.